Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amy if you're just joining me now. Hi. If you are new here, please go and click that subscribe button. And if you are returning and you're already subscribed, then thank you so, so, so much. I really do appreciate it. So you might be a bit shocked as I was to see that today I'm unboxing Look Fantastic for April 2023. But I'm only shocked because I could have sworn that I cancelled it. And I know that I did, but I made a mistake that I had a three month subscription paid monthly but for some reason I really really convinced myself that I wasn't getting an April box so I started looking and obsessing over other boxes and thinking oh no what one do I get and then I got an email saying it's been dispatched and the payment's been taken so I was like I oh. contacted customer service very long story short I am just silly and yeah I have got it and it is my last one so please pop down below some recommendations for new boxes if you think I should subscribe to something different maybe I should go to glossy or low glossy I wasn't that fussed about this month's um so maybe it might stick to look fantastic so apologies to look fantastic <laughs> um it was my fault but anyway let's get in I really really wish they would just go back to the usual ones because this is just so annoying surely there's a way that they could wrap the original boxes and make it more eco-friendly um rather than just have this but there you go so <laughs> i can never open these properly so the state of it and there's all bits that flung off it as well but anyway again with the they could have done such a nice springy kind of thing inside because if they're putting tissue paper in anyway surely they may as well put nice coloured tissue paper or they could do it like an easter theme or something like that the boring dark black tissue paper is just not doing it for me the box isn't doing it for me hopefully the contents will <laughs> i have seen spoilers but i've got the memory of a goldfish so i can't remember um so i'm just going to show you guys first Again, with these, like, I understand that these are nice to get something money off or something. But, you know, trying to help the environment with the horrible boxes. They could just not put stuff like that in. But anyway, never mind. Um, so, the first thing that I'm seeing is, looks to be a sugar scrub, body scrub. It's definitely separated, so you just need to give it a mix. Um, oh, and also, before I actually start um this is the theme this month even though you would not know it from the box it is express your true beauty um i'll have to scan that after and i might pop the prices in um if i remember when i'm editing so this is colista milano i've never heard of that brand really like that green though it's a really nice color um brings the box to life a little bit and it is a telasso scrub um rasa dante i don't know if that's how you actually say it um i have absolutely no idea it says firming to lasso scrub detoxifying exfoliating salts with essential oils and a cherry extract um hopefully it's not going to smell like cherry just because i don't actually like the smell of cherry oh i don't really want to open it because it's going to fly everywhere can't smell anything through the thing but i really 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 don't want to open it because it's going to go absolutely everywhere but anyway that is a nice little body scrub i'm assuming this is a deluxe mini um and it is how much is in there whoa did that just come out there's 70 grams in there so it's a nice size i have got a lot of scrubs to get through because i've got a lot of mallow's beauty ones so this will just be popped somewhere um until i can use it the next thing we have for some reason i have two got two of the same thing randomly assuming this is a mistake and i should have had something else um but is the paradox repair game changer hair mask um sustainable vegan irish roots biotech it's kelp seaweed for repair and rejuvenation it's 30 mils and for some reason i have got two um i don't know if look fantastic's trying to tell me that i need to look after my hair <laughs> but anyway i've got two random um 
so yeah I don't know if there's something that else I should have then to replace one of these or I've got an extra one not sure I'll watch other people's videos and I'll have a look or I'll look at like the lineup thing or I'll see it when I scan my QR code but yeah I've got two of these these are 30 mils each random very random there's always something weird that happens to me with um look fantastic I find next we have a nail varnish and I don't use nail varnish because I do my own gel nails these really need redoing I'm going to be redoing them next week because I have a thing coming up that um I might tell you about which is going to be really exciting um and yeah I need to redo them oh my nail stick is coming off my niece put a nail, Lodol's nail sticker, um, low surprise one on my nail and it's just started to peel off now, but it's been on for quite a while. Um, anyway, back to this. Um, this is shade Bear With Me and it's nice, like kind of brownie nude. It's a really nice colour, but like I say, this will just be passed on to someone that will appreciate it. I'm not sure who. Um, I don't think many people use nail varnish these days. I don't know. I could be wrong. Comment down below if you use nail varnish still. But I know a lot of people just get their nails done, either gels or acrylics, or do, their self, do them themselves at home, like me. Um, so yeah, that will be passed on to someone who can really appreciate it. Next, we have something by Pi, P-A-I. Um, and it is a light work rose hip fruit extract cleansing oil. It says lift away makeup and it just says lift, lift, lift on the side. Um, yeah, that sounds really nice. It says massage across dry skin, rinse with water, avoid direct contact with the eyes. Um, so yeah, it says sounds nice. That is a 10 mils and it is vegan, cruelty free. I'm going to just see if it's sealed, I won't open. Oh, no, it's not sealed. OK, so it's like that. I just wanted to see. Oh, that's literally come straight out. I just wanted to see what it looked like. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to last me very long by the looks of the size, but I just wanted to see what it was sort of like. The consistency is obviously very oily. It's got like a slight kind of orangey tinge to it, which you can just about see now. Obviously, you saw when I got it out of the tube. So, yeah, smells really nice. It smells very sparry and it reminds me of when I was at college when I used to do facials. That kind of rose hip, like maybe even eucalyptus kind of, maybe not eucalyptus actually, I'm not sure, but like a herby kind of nice smell. So, yeah, it's really nice. The final actual item, and then we've got a little sweet treat, which I've saved till the end, is by Ciate London. I do like this brand. They are nice. I don't go out and purchase this brand, so I like to see it when it's in a box, if you know what I mean. It's one of those sorts of brands. Um, they remind me a little bit of Lottie London with their like branding. Lip liner, which it is. It is a long wear lip liner crayon. Um, and it's, it says velvet lip liner on the packaging. Gorgeous packaging. I do really like their kind of vibe. Um, it says long lasting formula with intense pigment. And where's the shade name? Shade name is Coco, which is really cute. One of my mum's cats is called Coco. So that's really nice. Just to see that. Ooh throwing it out of the box you know too excited um so that is the liner itself and then I'm going to swatch this hand because obviously I've got the oil on this side um so it's one of those like a retractable one which is nice it's got a nice smooth tip there so let me just so I'm just gonna do a little swatchy swatchy so that is the colour so it's a really nice sort of almost pinky brownie kind of shade it would go really nice with this lipstick actually i don't know if i can do it where i can just go over kind of <laughs> it kind of worked just so you can see that actually goes really well that's my favorite 
um, lip colour that I've got on the box is just completely beaten up. It's that one, if, just in case you were wondering. It goes really nice with that. So yeah, really happy to see that actually. Overall, the box is actually a really good one. Um, I've still got one little sweet treat um, to share with you. Marshmallow bar coated in milk chocolate, 70 calories. Um, it doesn't say, I think it must just be actual milk. Um, so I doubt it is vegan. I'm trying to see. I hate it when they do that where you can't actually read what it says. So it says, yeah, milk chocolate. So this will be given to somebody. Um, so that's sad, but that was the sweet treat. Overall, it's a really nice box, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised just because I was a little bit annoyed, but I didn't realise it was my own fault. So we got the sweet treat. We've got a body scrub. I've got the facial cleansing oil by, by Pi. I got my lip liner, which I really, really like. I've got the nail varnish, which is going to be passed on to somebody else. And I got two hair masks, so I'll check to see if that's a mistake. Maybe comment down below if you know. Um, but yeah, overall, very happy with that. Let me know in the comments section down below as well if you think that I should stick with Look Fantastic or move on to a different box for a little while just for a change. Change your pace, see what we think. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, guys. And I will see you very, very soon. And take care. Bye.